then she read about a startup called Our Bus, whose intention was to choose bus routes by popular demand through crowdsourcing. Its offer, find 100 people who'd be interested in a certain bus route, and they'll put it together. I got the contact information for one of the co-founders, she says, and within 24 hours, we had a dialogue going. On the day that I rode an hour bus route to try it out, our driver encountered a road closure and to work around it, he skipped a stop. The whole business seemed a little too good to be true. Surely, I thought, there must be somebody who's not pleased New Jersey Transit, for example, or the existing commuter bus companies. In fact, Hellman told, men, the mayor of West Orange actually had a quote in an article saying that he was thrilled to find out about us, and that we're enhancing commuter convenience with the town. So the powers that be seem to be okay with it. As for the other commuter bus companies, Hellman says they shouldn't feel threatened by the arrival of our bus. After all, they can always just sign up for our bus's services. We'd love to provide our technology to them, Hellman says. At the moment, our bus offers two commuter routes, one from Livingston and West Orange, New Jersey, and one from Kendall Park and Montgomery, New Jersey. They also run a route between New York and Washington, D.C., and points in between. Fares for that route are $16 to $30, depending on demand. Our bus, of course, intends to expand. Where, exactly, it can't yet say. Because as the world's first crowdsourced bus company, determining the next route is up to its customers. More from David Pogg, iOS 11 is about to arrive here's what's in it Mac OS High Sierra comes this fall and brings these 23 features T-Mobile coup, why we make investments like free Netflix that seem crazy Gulliver's Gate is a 40 million dollar world of miniatures in Times Square the 5 best new features of this week's YouTube redesign Samsung's Bixby voice assistant is ambitious, powerful, and half-baked is through the air charging a hoax. David Pogg, tech columnist for News Pulse Finance, is the author of iPhone, The Missing Manual. He welcomes non-toxic comments in the comments section below. On the web, keys. On Twitter, keys at pog. On email, keys pogaster at news pulse. You can read all his articles here, or you can sign up to get his columns by email.